We are at the Bristol Motor Speedway for the third race of Season 1 of the SCRL Wrangler Jeans Bush Grand National Series. 79 of Josh Barker leading us to the green flag. Starts on him. 28 of Jack Legacy. That's the starting lineup. All 42 entries. Second race in a row. We'll have 50 laps. But no LCQ here. Because we can fit all 42 cars. We've had a different winner in each of the two races this season. Keenan Bush at Daytona. Zachary Fitzwater at Richmond Fairgrounds. Keenan Bush, our points leader, will be starting fifth. And here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. After this race, we'll be going to Martinsville, then Darlington, Hickory, South Boston. A lot more short tracks. Looks like no one's having any problems. The AI is still at 90%. Hopefully to give us some green flag runs. <coughs> Josh Barker, the 79, leading us to the green. Pace car is in. We are racing at Bristol for the very first time in this series. Green flag. Parker leads him off into turn number one. And in turn number two. Whoa! Nope. Got a wreck already. No surprise there. But there's no caution, we'll take. Oh, 28, Jack Legacy led a lap. Oh, that was weird. No caution. So Jack Legacy, our race leader. Looking to pull off a Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater led 42 of the 50 laps at Richmond. Jack Legacy trying to be a dominator. Josh Parker right on his back bumper. We got a caution. Whoa, 11, 70, 24, 29. So, first caution of the day. 28, Jack Legacy is a race leader. Take a look at the first caution of the day. All right, the four, AJ Jones racing the zero four, Eli Bright. Going in turn number one. Huh. Lock bumpers. The 04 spins out. Eli up the track. Into the wall. Comes back across the track. In the 70 owl. A lot of damage. 24, 39, 12, 11, 29, 88, 7, 37, 32 are all involved. That was a big hit by Todd Kennedy. He didn't have nowhere to go. Bam. Not a good start for the 70 team. Car smoking, so I believe he's out. So we had a multi car crash in turns one and two. You might have one driver out. We'll take you back to the restart. 
are about to restart this race. The 70 of Todd Kennedy is the only car out of the race. We have 41 cars left. The 29 of Zachary Fitzwater is one lap down. Jack Legacy is our race leader. Second is Josh Parker. Third, James Parker. Fourth, Cole Nixley. Fifth, Keenan Bush. Sixth, Brian Fox. Seventh, Derek Edison. Eighth, Jake Jefferson. Ninth, Colin Jubbard. Tenth, John R. Pace car will be heading in. 41 laps to go. Back to racing at Bristol. Jack Legacy with a big run on the outside. Pulls away. Keenan Bush trying to go around Cole Nixley. Not enough power. It's too far. Brian Fox in the 23 trying to get a run. Not enough. 63 just made a pass on Cole Nixley. As Jack Legacy continues to hold the race lead. Seventy-nine, James Barker trying to get around him. These two battling to try and get their first Bush Series win. Oh, caution is out. Not sure who spun out. Shall see. 28 Jack Legacy is still our race leader. Take a look at the second caution of the bay. The double zero ding drinker. Let's see, he goes up the track in front of Joe Jefferson. And Joe spins out dink. 47 makes it by. The zero two does not, Grayson. And then Grayson gets spun out. Oh, and the 1 got damaged. Cat gets over Paul. The 10. Cackle White Line got damaged too. Looks like we just had a 4 car incident on the front stretch in turn 1. This will be a quickie caution. We'll take it back to the restart. And we are back. No one else is out of the race. Zachary Fitzwater is still one lap down. So we have 41 cars still. On the track, one is a lap down. This race is pretty tame because I lowered the AI from 110 to 90 to make it more competitive, but that means there won't be as many wrecks. Maybe the next Bristol will be 100 or 110. Pace cars in. <coughs> And we're back to racing in Bristol. Jack Legacy. James Barker making around lap traffic. Whoa, Tina Bush. Oh, he's going to spin out the 63. No, he doesn't. Great save by 63. Tina Bush going to go around him. And we got another caution. Cautions, breed caution. Twenty-eight Jack Legacy, still our race leader. Take a little look at the third caution. All right, the ninety-nine Ben Wallow at Irvine racing the eighty-eight of Keith Stevens. Eighty-eight clips the left bumper and spins out the ninety-nine. Everyone else is luckily to avoid the 99. And once again, this will be another quickie caution. And we'll take it back to the restart. And we are back. 
Darren Nakash in the 16 car of Riley Sperly Tube broke a header. So Riley Sperly Tube will finish 41st today. It doesn't show him out, but he actually is. So is a 70. So bad day for Riley Sperly Tube. The 29 Zachary Fitzwater is still one lap down. We are going to be one lap away from halfway. Jack Lagacy has led every single one of the 23, about to be 24 laps. He's trying to be a dominator. Pace cars heading in. Jack Lagacy. Leads him back to the green. And we're back to racing at Bristol. 79, Josh Barker clears lap traffic. Keenan Bush trying to defend third against the 63 car. Keenan should have a run. There he goes. And Leaders has pulled away a little bit. Josh Barker trying to get around Jack Legacy. Both drivers trying to win their first Bush Series race. As we got a little green flag run here, that's good. Keenan Bush still trying to get around Zachary Fitzwater. Battle for position. Colin Jabber going around the two of Luke Rainey. That's for ninth. Jack Lagacy continues to hold the race lead. You see, this is what happens when you tone down the AI. They're not as racing, they don't wreck every turn, which is kind of good, but which is kind of bad because you have a dominator like the 28. Nothing against Jack Legacy, it's just maybe not what people want to see. A dominator in the third race of the season. Keenan Bush is falling way behind. Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater still trying to get a lap back. While wow, Jack just continues to dominate this field. And his number 28. Uh, I want to say Ford. If Jack Legacy can hang on, this will be the third different winner in three different races this season. Whoa, point not. Tina Bush. No matter what the result is right now, he will have a good day because he is the points leader and he's in third. So, this is a good day for Keenan Bush so far. Oh, battle for the lead. Uh, nope. Josh Parker tried to make a move. Not enough. Jack Legacy's just going to pull away. Where are we heading next? Martinsville. That'll be yet another 50 lap race. Nothing really going on right now. Oh, we got a spin. 0-4. Eli Bright. And I believe, yes, the caution is out. Field will catch back up. 28, Al Legacy is our race leader. We'll take a look and see what put out the caution. So the 0-4, Eli Bright. Gets a run on the high side in turn 4. Goes wide. Smacks the wall pretty hard. He spins out. 37 slams on the brakes, but the 99 does not. Hard impact. And the 04 continues to spin. And there's the caution lights. The 99 spins out again in turn 1. That was pretty hard impact by the 99. Bam! Not a good way for his season to go. Make a, made his return at Daytona. Not been that successful since he returned. That team will try to repair the 99, but I think it's broken at this point. Restart time. We are going to restart this race with 12 laps to go. 
the 99, Benoit Louis Irvine is out of the race. Zachary Fitzwater is still trapped one lap down. So we have 39 cars left, 38 on lead lap. Jack Lagacy is our race leader still. Second, Josh Barker. Third, Keenan Bush. Fourth, James Barker. Fifth, Brian Fox. Sixth, Derek Edison. Seventh, Jay Jefferson. Eighth, John Allard. Ninth, Colin Jobberg. Tenth, Dylan T. Rocks. Pace cars in once again. And there goes Jack Lagacy. Front two, get around lap traffic. Keenan Bush trying to do the same. Keenan Bush still trying to clear the 29. And he does in turn four. The question is, can Keenan catch our leaders? Oh, leaders in the wall. James. No, excuse me, Josh Parker trying to take the lead. But Jack Legacy leads at the start-finish line. Whoa. Jack pancaked the ball pretty hard. Josh. Got to deal with Keenan Bush right behind him. Nine laps to go. Legacy trying to defend. Wants his, wants his first Bush Series win. He's dominated the day. Uh, 79 making a peak on the outside. Not enough. Seven to go. Trying everything he can to get around the 28. Keenan Bush losing ground on the leaders. Whoa, he's trying to tap the 28. Oh, caution is out. 34, Sebastian Torres is destroyed. I'm, I'm not sure if that ended the race or not. Hopefully it didn't. 28, Jack Legacy is still our race leader. Take a look at the caution. So the cause of the caution started on the front stretch. 39, Hank Williams hits the 14 of Evan Rudd, comes back across the track in front of Jesse Turner. Turner spins out. Gets hit by the 88. The 7 got a piece. Then Sebastian Torres, hard impact. Wow. Then the 04 got damage. Then the 22. Then the 37. Sebastian Torres' season started off good. He dominated Daytona. He, he will lose it, but not how he wanted Bristol to be. Well, we'll see if the caution ended the race or not. We are going to get the green with one lap to go. We're going to have a one lap shootout. The 34 Sebastian Torres is out of the race. We have 36 cars on the lead lap. Jesse Turner is one lap down with Zachary Fitzwater. Jack Legacy is our race leader. Second, Josh Barker. Third, Keenan Bush. Fourth, James Barker. Fifth, Brian Fox. Sixth, Jay Jefferson. Seventh, Derek Edison. Eighth, Colin Jabberg. Ninth, John Ard. Tenth, Dylan T. Rocks. Can Jack Legacy hang on? one lap and score his first win in this series. Pace car is in for the final time. And there's the green. He got one shot. Jack Legacy leads him off into turn number one. He goes a little bit wide. But he defends. Down the back stretch for the final time. Into turns three and four. Jack Legacy will win at Bristol. Well, not as action packed as I figured it would be, but I'm still excited. 
Here are your race results. For Bristol, Jack Legacy leads every single one of the 50 laps and scores his first career as CRL Wrangler Jeans Bush Grand National Series win. Second is Josh Barker. Third, Keenan Bush. Fourth, James Barker. Fifth, Brian Fox. Sixth, Jay Jefferson. Seventh, Derek Edison. Eighth, Con Dryberg. Ninth, John Art. And tenth, Dylan T. Rocks. Eleventh, Tony Newman. Twelfth, Luke Rainey. Thirteenth, Smith Regal. Fourteenth, Alexander Rowe. Fifteenth, Cole Nixie. Sixteenth, Aiden Shepard. Seventeenth, Jay Barker. Eighteenth, Joe Jefferson. Nineteenth, AJ Jones. And twentieth, Kaka Silverpaul. Twenty-first, Nick Kennedy. Twenty-second, Evan Rudd. Twenty-third, Hank Willis. Twenty-fourth, Ding Drinker. As we scroll down, Bernie Cam decided to mess up the race results. 25th, Max Anderson, 26th, Kyle Metz, 27th, Keith Stevens, 28th, Tim Randolph, 29th, John Ard, 30th, Al Legacy, 31st, Truddle, 32nd, Grayson H. Vidu, 33rd, Keiko Whiteline, 34th, Eli Bright, 35th, Marcus Sanchi, 36th, Matt Johnson. Zachary Fitzwater retired on the last lap, so he was a lap down, but he retired. Jesse Turner finished 38th. He was two laps down, but he did finish the race. Sebastian Torres, 7 laps down, out due to a wreck. Ben Lovett Irvine, out due to a wreck, 18 laps behind and 40th. 41st, Riley Spurley, 2, broke a header, 29 laps behind. And finishing last, Todd Kennedy, out due to an accident on the 4th lap. So that is it for Bristol. We'll take you to your point standings now. And here are your point standings after the third race of the season at Bristol. Keenan Bush is still our points leader. He has a 76-point lead over Josh Barker. Third is Max Anderson, 112 points back. Fourth, Tony Newman, 113 points back. And fifth, Jack Legacy, who just won the race, 138 points behind. Sixth is Cole Nixie. Seventh, Zachary Fitzwater. Eighth, Al Legacy. Ninth, Jeff Ard. And tenth, John Ard. Eleventh, Kaka Silverpaw. Twelfth, Kyle Metz. Thirteenth, Smith Regal. Fourteenth, Alexander Rowe, 15th, Tim Randolph, 16th, Colin Jaberg, 17th, Luke Rainey, 18th, Riley Spurley Tube, 19th, Sebastian Torres, and 20th, Dylan T. Rocks. 21st, Joe Jefferson, 22nd, AJ Jones, 23rd, Evan Rudd, 24th, Jay Jefferson, 25th, Jay Barker, 26th, Eli Bright, 27th, Hank Willis, 28th, Nick Kennedy, 29th, James Barker, and 30th, Benoit Lovett Irvine. 31st, Grayson Ace Vidu, 32nd, Keith Stevens, 33rd, Dink Drinker, 34th, Kaka White Lion, 20, I mean, 35th, Derek Edison, 36th, Marcus Sanchi, 37th, Brian Fox, 38th, Aiden Shepard, 39th, Todd Kennedy, and 40th, Truddle. 30, I mean, 41st, Matt Johnson, and last in points is still Jesse Turner, 42nd in points. So that is it for the third race of the season at Bristol. We will see you at the fourth race of the season at Martinsville Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.